Welcome to the Save Aurora. I'm Joe. And I'm Nicole. You may have noticed we have completed our new set. A huge thank you goes out to Mr. Debelak and the Constructions class, Mr. Zabel, Mr. Betcher, Mr. Bondar, Mr. Dix, and Mr. Johnson. This set could not have been a reality without them. In this episode, we will be covering the girls' tennis season and some more activities happening throughout FHS. Domination has been the story of the girls' tennis team this season. The girls' varsity tennis team has had great success this season, finishing undefeated in conference. The impressive team chemistry contributed immensely to the success of the team. What surprised me about the team is probably in how they were all able to bond so well. There was a couple of girls that came back that haven't played on the team in a few years, and they just fit right in really well. And that dynamic really shows when you're out there doing a team match. First year coach Price has led the team to a strong start and looks forward to the rest of the season. Our new coach really knows what he's talking about when it comes to tennis and he really is helping our team to go to its highest potential and he runs practices very well so we all really like him. The team performed well at sectionals and junior Cassie qualified for state. Although the girls tennis season did not end with the state title, participation at the state level was a great accomplishment for the team. FHS showed their support of all students by celebrating Ally Day. Students demonstrated acceptance for the LGBTQ community by wearing colorful tape with the word ally. The goal of the event was to contribute to a more positive school climate. Girls Swim and Dive has made a splash this season by breaking records and making numerous accomplishments. The Girls Swim and Dive team had a great season, going undefeated in conference, even beating their rivals Kenosha Tremper, proving that their hard work and dedication has paid off. We've been having four morning practices a week, uh, plus practices Monday through Friday. We've been lifting three times a week, and girls have just been working incredibly hard to get where they want to be right now. As the season moved forward, the girls went on to take fifth at sectionals, breaking records in the 200 medley relay and 200 free relay, ending the season on a good note. Congratulations to junior Katrina Bogey, who took fifth at state in diving. Great job, Katrina, and the rest of the swim and dive team on a great season. A new club at FHS is getting a lot of attention this year. The Environment Conservation and Outdoor Club, or Eco Club, led by Mr. Gain, teaches students about the outdoors. The Eco Club is an outdoor club basically dedicated to uh, environmental service, education, and recreation. Eco Club participates in many activities such as camping, fishing, canoeing, and cookouts. A lot of times people uh, you know, think they understand what's going on outdoors, but until you go and get your hands dirty and you get out there and do it in person, uh, you don't, really don't appreciate it to the level that we hope. Eco Club already has over 150 participants and Mr. Gain expects more students to join. I hope that we can just give the kids the experience. I think this thing could really blossom. Eco Club meetings are Tuesday in Mrs. Brown's room, if you're still interested in joining. Franklin High School's band entered in two competitions this season, beating school records along the way. With this being the first year of competing, the band look forward testing their skills out on the field. Our preparations for marching season actually begin in the previous school year. Um, after our spring concert, students receive their music for the marching show, and we also distribute it to eighth graders. Not only do the students perform, but they also play a large role in making their shows. Um, I've asked students to brainstorm theme ideas um, for the marching shows. I'm really looking to their creativity. After this season, the band is already reflecting on how to beat their scores from this year. As a result of this season, the band is pumped and hopes to perform even better next season. A young varsity soccer team impressed everyone by nearly winning conference this season. The boys fought hard in the regular season and playoffs, ending with a record of three and four. There's no doubt the future is bright for Franklin boys soccer. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Nicole. And I'm Joe. As Steve Jobs once said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life.